Well, it's been a while since we saw this matchup. Leicester City and Manchester United at the King Power Stadium is the match today. Um, formerly the Walkers Stadium. As we have a look at the Premier League table, Liverpool lead by two points. And uh, the loss of Luis Suarez is not affecting them much at all. Well, the last time we saw these two clubs was probably in the mid-2000s, probably 2005. And let me tell you, a lot has changed in those, like, nine years for both teams, in fact. Uh, and Louis van Gaal especially is going for a very strange formation, which we'll explain in a moment, uh, with having just played QPR a few days ago and facing Doncaster Rovers in the very near future as well. So a bit of a condensed schedule coming up. For Leicester City... The son of the legendary Peter Schmeichel Casper starts in goal with Simpson, Upson and Pereira and Schulp in the defence. Cambiasso's partnered by James and Drinkwater. Nick Powell actually play, has to get to play against his old team with David Nugent uh, and his strike partner up front. For Manchester United and Louis van Gaal, it's a strange formation. Uh, it's a 5-4-2, 5-4-1 with Carrick and Fletcher behind, playing behind Jesse Lingard and Darren Fletcher. In terms of Smalling, Evans, Jones, Rojo and Blackett, De Gea is always in goal. Which probably might change the Doncaster Rovers game. But Manchester United going probably for the draw, having uh, probably thinking, Louis van Gaal thinking that progression in the club is a bit more important at this stage. Uh, the league is certainly not decided yet, so you probably can't can forgive him for thinking that. Um, he's obviously gone for Wayne Rooney, which probably says to me that Will Keane and uh, and uh, Jason Will, uh, James Wilson rather will be playing uh, against uh, Doncaster because it's Doncaster Rovers. Although you can never take anything for granted in a cup competition, but we're not even there yet. So let's actually focus on today's match. Uh, we're only having speculations about the uh, Doncaster game and we're actually supposed to be focusing on the one at hand which is Leicester City and Manchester United and uh, the last time uh, these two teams faced off in the Premier League probably in the mid-2000s I think Manchester United won on all occasions so um, but nothing set in stone and confirmed yet it should be uh, it's, a, it's an unscripted game of football I mean we all thought that uh, Manchester United were going to take all three points uh, against uh, QPR on paper, but on the pitch, QPR almost came away with three points, and Ramon Falcao saved United uh, a lot of Louis van Gaal's first loss of the season. So uh, Louis van Gaal is still unbeaten, but um, if it wasn't for Falcao, they probably would have lost. And we have an early goal to report at Villa Park, and it's Aaron Ramsey who scored for Arsenal. So Arsenal 1 0 for air already. And Arsenal in there, in four man, Aaron Ramsey has uh, scored again. Here comes James for uh, Leicester City. And a moment of uh, attacking prowess there, a look. And God gives the ball away. And he's Nugent. Tackled by Carrick. Rooney makes, starts making a run in front of Michael Carrick. If Carrick had gone that to Rooney, he probably would have been clear home and dry. Manchester United have, have had an incredible start this Premier League season. No one expected them to be this good. And it's playing so well. Uh, the resting of Matt Hummels is uh, not a very much of a surprise because Hummels has played every single game since he signed. So I think Ben Hart wanted to give him a rest. That's a great pass from Jesse Lingard. It's Wayne Rooney and Cash Plus Michael. Denies Wayne Rooney on that occasion there. And he seems formerly of Manchester United himself, to be fair. There's Drinkwater, one of the most unusual names in the Premier League. And a bad throw, Chris Smalling finds Rooney. Rooney is waiting for someone to support him. And he finally finds it in Andrew Herrera, brought down in the box penalty. That is a clear penalty, Andrew Herrera is brought down in the box. The referee's coming over with a sending off. For sending off for Leicester City, that's Matthew Upson who is sent off. I think it is a goal scoring opportunity and it is the last man. Matthew Upson can really have no complaints. That is a definite foul and a definite penalty. Well, Manchester United's last two attempts on penalties have uh, both been uh, misses. The first one was at Swansea City and Aaron Hamilton's penalty saved by uh, Fabianski. And then Rooney missed a penalty against Burnley. 
What's this occasion going to be? Here he comes. Straight down the middle and saved by Cashmere Smichael. What is it with Manchester United and penalties? They do not seem to score from them. Wayne, Wayne Rooney went straight down the goal. It was straight down Schmeichel's uh, throat, pretty much. And another missed penalty for Manchester United. There is something not quite right at the penalty spot for all Manchester United players that take them. Unbelievable stuff, but just like at Burnley, Manchester United have to have the man advantage with Matthew Robson sent off. It was a penalty, but again, not a very good one by United. They're not taking advantage of these penalties. And uh, you have to think that one time, they're going to end up paying for it. Will that today be that day? Leicester City have a corner. And here's another look at the uh, foul of Matthew Upson. That is a clear penalty. Probably a clear sending off too. I don't think Matthew Upson can really have no replay for me. Complaint when he sees that on the replay. And even got to a bit of altercation with Herrera than anything else anyway. So, definite penalty. Definite red card. Um, but uh, the penalty was saved by Schmeichel. So, and how many times have we said that in a Manchester United shirt? Uh, but it's Kasper Schmeichel this time that denies his, uh, his legendary father's team. And not to forget that past, uh, Peter Schmeichel actually played for Manchester City at some point. As I think Manchester United fans will say, the less said about that, the better. <laughs> Here's drink water for Leicester City and immediately tackled by Carrick. Manchester United are playing so well, they can make up for the early penalty miss. Aaron Howard certainly did that against uh, Swansea, even though he left it late. And uh, they certainly did that against Burnley as well. Pumping them 4 0. Darren Fletcher wins a goal. And uh, the interesting fact going into this game is that every Manchester United scorer, aside from Roman Alfalcar, who scored two against Queen's Park Rangers, everyone else has scored, uh, have different scorers. It's an Ingard's brought down, and Leicester have not learned their lesson by the looks of it, but they do get away with that one. Tyler Blackett, who's had a stunning start of the season. And Wayne Rooney. Trying to gather up when the foot round it, but Kashka Schmeichel will easily get to that. No drama here at the King Power Stadium. Leicester already a man down within the first 15 minutes, but the penalty saved by Kashka Schmeichel. And penalties have been a real struggle for Manchester United this season. Initially, tackled by Tyler Blackett again. And Tyler Blackett, you've got to give the boy credit. He is really playing his best. Well, you've probably ever seen him. Manchester United's youth system. We've seen it many times. One of the best around. One of the best teams around for giving you for chance as well. Is Rooney. And he's tackled by uh, Leicester City defender there. And you have to feel that Leicester City, they can't give this up. They're a man down, but they can't give it up. And normally the small teams always prevail against the big ones because they always have low expectations. They're not expected to win. And it's certainly the case here. Oh, and she's going to be passing beautifully. And uh, Herrera slotted to Rooney. Great tackle by the defender for Leicester City there. Great last ditch saving tackle. That's how you do it. Here's Drinkwater. And the answer to Danny Simpson. As we said, former Manchester United player himself. Here's James. It's quite strange that Nick Powell is playing today because normally under the rules you're not really allowed to play against your parent club, but uh, I guess there was, a, there was a loophole in the rules somewhere. But... Um, you know, why not? That's that's why Powell was loaned there. You might as well get some experience, even if it is against your parent club. And his drink water. No sign of uh, Tom Lawrence yet. I don't think even Tom Lawrence made the bench. That's unfortunate, really. And uh, there was almost an occupation there. And uh, I think we forgot to mention in the QPR game that Danny Welbeck was served last one. I think we mentioned it. But uh, Danny Welbeck's not on the score sheet for Arsenal right now, and Sam Ramsey who scored. And Biasso and uh, United just can't seem to get out of this side of the pitch right now, and Mark has got to be careful here. And uh, to Fletcher. 
Smalling and Fletcher gives it away. Immediately goes and gets it back though. Can he toe poke it to Rooney? Yes, he can. And Rooney skips past the sliding shackle. Uh, shackle? <laughs> sliding tackle. But uh, he lost the ball in the end there. Just only being a bit loose with the ball in terms of passing, but everything else is just falling into place for them. And James for Leicester City. And Biasso. Nugent. Nugent on the wing here. Nugent Nugent's past Michael Carrick. Pass to Danny Simpson. This could be interesting. And he's eventually tackled. Interesting on his defence has been the best so far this season. And best for United in quite a long time. Just a little guard to Rooney. And Carrick is coming uh, forward from the midfield position, but uh, up in there for Michael Carrick. Don't forget, he scored against, I think it was, um, I think it was the third match. I think it was against uh, Burnley, I think. Queen's Park Rangers, Isola has scored against Stoke at Loftus Road. I read that will value that point. And definitely value the point that he earned against Manchester United, considering uh, QPR's struggles so far this season. As Tyler Blackett is now forward for United. I'll try and cross it into Herrera, but uh, the defender in front of him was able to head it away. And Manchester United could probably for the fourth time in their game so far this season. They're probably going to go into the break nil-nil, and they shouldn't be really. The penalty should have been converted by Rooney. So Henwood's missed penalty just wasn't a missed penalty because it's Aaron Henwood and there's not a lot of power in his legs. All penalties are going wayward for United. So it's a common problem. And then Hal has to address it or we'll have a different penalty taker entirely. And he's just running wide with the ball, trying to find something. Southampton have scored against Swansea. James Rodriguez, not James Rodriguez, um, the other one. James Rodriguez is Real Madrid, my apologies for that. But Southampton have taken the lead, that is a, that is a fact. Wayne Rooney finds Jesse Lingard right here. Here he comes. And he's going to get blocked and it's going to be a corner. Mr. City getting back well there. And we're going to defend this corner. Rooney's going to take it. It's going to be to Michael Carrick and Cash Michael's Michael's going to get there first. Lingard. Carrick on that occasion. There's Lingard went for the ball. Two minutes of added time and this is the end of his first half. And here's James in the ball for Leicester. The referee's going to play advantage apparently. I didn't see much wrong with that tackle from Fletcher in the first place. Here's James allowed to run up the wing here. And uh, Dan Fletcher has a, another tag at him. And it's cleared for a Leicester throw. Just to see, not backing down even with 10 men. And Darren Fletcher again, taking a uh, ball off Cambiasso, but it's another Leicester City throw in. Leicester starting to get into the game a little bit, it's a poor throw. And a great tackle by Darren Fletcher again. Darren Fletcher's been all over the Leicester players, ships it to Wayne Rooney. Struggling to bring it under his control. Doesn't really matter. Well, Manchester United go into the break. Nil-nil again. But uh, there's been drama here. Matthew Oxen was sent off and really, really should have scored the penalty. Will Manchester United go on to regret that in the second half? Or will they have another goal spurt like they normally do in second halves? At the break at King Power Stadium. It's Leicester City nil. Manchester United nil. And another missed penalty. It's a problem.